Šī ir sirds. Es mīlu ar sirdi. Šis ir sirds un mīlestības mēnesis. Hey there, this is Ilzi B. I am a Latvian and I teach Latvian to English speakers. And today I'm going to teach you all about what I just said. This is the month of love and heart. And that's our today's topic. But listen to the rhythm of the sentence that you are going to practice saying. It's interesting, right? We haven't had anything like that before. I clap it again. So if I use the words yes and no, like I did before, it would sound like this. Yes, no, yes, no, yes, no, 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 yes, no, no. But previously I said that longer words have smaller accents on their third syllables. And we have one longer word in that sentence. Listen how it would sound if I had that accent on the third syllable of that long word. It would be like this. Yes, no, yes, no, yes, no, yes, no, yes, no, no. You choose whichever version you would like to practice. So I'll say it again without that accent. The rhythm is yes, no, yes, no, yes, no, 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 yes, no, no. And now I'll put the words in the sentence. Šis ir sirds un mīlestības mēnesis. And now I'll say it faster, like Latvians would normally say it. Šis ir sirds un mīlestības mēnesis. But let's start by learning the last word of this sentence. And the last word is mēnesis. I'll say it again. Mēnesis. And one more time. Mēnesis. Do you think you can say it together with me? I'll have it written on the screen. You watch me saying it and after that let's say it together. Mēnesis. And now let's do it together. Mēnesis. The accent is on the first syllable of the word mēnesis. Let's say it together twice. Mēnesis. Mēnesis. You've got it. And we can switch to the longer word, the longest word in this sentence that precedes the word mēnesis. That word is a very important word. Listen to me saying it in Latvian. Mīlestības. Mīlestības. I'll say it again twice. Mīlestības. Mīlestības. What do you think? What vowels are in that word? Think a little. Giving up? All right, I'll tell you. Those vowels are e e e a. e e e a. There are two short vowels and there are two long vowels. Can we pronounce those vowels together? I'll have them on the screen again. e e e a. e e e a. Can you do it without me? Please do it. Okay, and now let's do it together. E, 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 A. And now I'll add the consonants. The word looks like this. Mīlestības. Mīlestības. Do you also hear that there is a small stress on the third syllable? Thinking that certainly helps to perceive the word better. But now I'll pronounce the last two words together. Mīlestības mēnesis. And now let's pronounce it together three times. Let's do the first time slowly, then a little faster, and then as fast as you can. Ready, set, go. 
Mīlestības mēnesis. Now let's do it the second time. Mīlestības mēnesis. And now the last time. Mīlestības mēnesis. How was it? It's all right. You're learning. And you have already learned the second part of the sentence. Let's switch to the first part of the sentence. And the first part of the sentence consists of several smaller words. So altogether, there are four words. There are four single syllable words. And although I'm teaching you Latvian as if you didn't know any, I'm guessing that you already know the word that is the last word in the first part of the sentence. And that word is un. In this sentence, the word is not stressed. The word again is un, and it means and. But now the word that precedes the word un, and that word is sirt. 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 If you were a younger grade Latvian student, you would probably have some difficulties remembering how this word is spelt. Latvian children often have difficulties spelling words that have the sound like this. T, t. And that's exactly what you hear at the end of this word. Sirt. 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 What makes it hard is to remember what are the last two consonants in this word. But I will not make it hard for you. I will have it written here on the screens so that you can see it. This is how you write the word. Sirt. Sirt. But there are two more words left. We have studied those words before, but you studied a different form of the first word of the sentence. Yesterday you learned how to say es situ ritmu uz šīs metāla bļodas. The word that I am discussing now is the word šīs. But in this sentence it sounds slightly differently. Because yesterday that word had the long vowel in it. It sounded like this, šīs, but today this word has the short vowel in it and it should sound like this, šis, 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 šis. Please notice that difference. And the second word is ir. You know that word already. I'll pronounce it again twice, ir, ir. And together, the two first words sound like this. Šis ir. Šis ir. Šis ir. Šis ir. And the first part of the sentence altogether sounds like this. Šis ir sirds un. Šis ir sirds un. The first word is stressed and the third word is stressed. The second word and the fourth word are not stressed. Listen carefully. Šis ir sirds un. I'll pronounce it again. Šis ir sirds un. Let's pronounce it together. I'll have it on your screens. Šis ir sirds un. Pronounce it with correct accents. Šis ir sirds un. One more time. Šis ir sirds un. But do you remember the second part of the sentence? I'll remind it to you. Mīlestības mēnesis. Mīlestības mēnesis. Can we say it together twice? Mīlestības mēnesis. Mīlestības mēnesis. And now we only need to add the first part of the sentence in front of this. And that will sound like this. Šis ir sirds un mīlestības mēnesis. I'll pronounce it again and follow with your eyes as I am reading the text. Šis ir 
sirds un mīlestības mēnesis. The rhythm was like this. Yes, no, yes, no, yes, no, 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 yes, no, no. Or, yes, no, yes, no, yes, no, yes, no, yes, no, no. So let's put the words in it and let's try to pronounce the entire sentence together. I'll reduce the pace. Šis ir sirds un mīlestības mēnesis. I'll do it again. Šis ir sirds un mīlestības mēnesis. And now I'll do it a little faster. Šis ir sirds un mīlestības mēnesis. And now I'll do it in a normal Latvian pace. Šis ir sirds un mīlestības mēnesis. But now let's practice together with you. Let's pronounce it three times. Of course, not that fast. Ready, set, go. Šis ir sirds un mīlestības mēnesis. Let's do it again in the same pace. Šis ir sirds un mīlestības mēnesis. And one more time. Šis ir sirds un mīlestības mēnesis. Great job! But at the beginning of this video, I said something else. I said, Šī ir sirds. Es mīlu ar sirdi. I'll talk more about this in my slides. I'm saying bye, but I'm not leaving you. I am leaving the video. You'll hear my voice as I'm explaining you the information that I'm giving to you in slides. And like yesterday and other days before, you can download the summary of this video by clicking on the link in the description of this video. Today we learned a sentence, šis ir sirds un mīlestības mēnesis, and it means this is the heart and love month. And these are the new words that you can now add to your account. On the left side, there is the form of the word that you met in the sentence. And on the right side, it's the default form of the word. The first word is sirds. And the default form is the same, sirds. The word un was already in its default form. However, the word mīlestības has a default form that is different from what you learned today. The default form is mīlestība. And finally, we also learned the word mēnesis, and this word was already in its default form. However, there were two more sentences that I told you, and there is one more word that I want you to know because the word un is very short and small word, and I was guessing that you already knew that word. And the word that I want you to know is on the basis of the word mīlestības. However, before we jump to that, there is something else that I'd like to mention in the reference of what I taught you yesterday. And that is about the word sirds. We had a sentence, šis ir sirds un mīlestības mēnesis. Technically, both words, sirds and mīlestības, are descriptors of the word mēnesis. And yesterday I said that if a word ends in s, in its default form, then when it's describing another noun, its ending would be a. But I also said that most words, because there is a small group of words that do not change their ending to a, and the word sirds belongs to that group. Those groups of nouns are called declensions, and I teach more about them in my course Latvian for English Speakers. But now let's go to that extra word that I wanted to teach you. That word was mīlu. 
we didn't drill it so you might not remember it but its default form is mīlēt and the word mīlestības is derived from the root of this word which is mīl and the sentence where that word appeared was es mīlu ar sirdi which means I love with my heart or I love with heart but let's start from the beginning because this wasn't the first sentence that I said here is what I said I started out by saying she ir sirds which means this is a heart you see the first word in this sentence is she it is one of the default forms of the word she's that I taught you yesterday. The word she's is another default form and we saw the word she's in the sentence she's ir sirds and mīlestības mēnesis. In that sentence the word she's referred to the word mēnesis. In this sentence the word she refers to the word sirds. I'll read the sentence again. She ir sirds. And then comes the other sentence that I said. Es mīlu ar sirdi. You see that here the form of the word sirds has changed because the ending now is i. I teach all about that in the course that I mentioned Latvian for English speakers. Thank you for learning with me. Till tomorrow.